I don't think the brass polish is going to do much good for this handle. It's beyond that. As a matter of fact, we're going to dress up the front entryway here. We're going to put in a new handle. We're going to put in a new lock. We're also going to put in a brass knocker and also a kick plate down here. And to top it off, we've got brass numbers here for the address. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now here are the products we're going to be using, and I think you'll agree this is a lot better looking than what we have on there now. These are identical, look exactly the same. The difference is that this is a double cylinder lock, which means that you have to have a key for outside and one for inside. And if you have a window that's right next to the door, that is a good thing for you to keep in mind. This one, the one we're going to install, has a thumb bolt on the inside. Both of them have lifetime anti-tarnish finish and they're from Schlage and they're really great looking things. Uh, as you can see right here, we're going to put this uh, house numbers on a board. Eventually we'll paint the board the same color as the door. It's going to make the numbers really stick out. Uh, the knocker is going to go in there. It has no screws visible. They'll be put in from the back side of the door. And our uh, kick plate here has a protective coating on there. You want to be sure and leave that on while you're installing it so you don't get it scratched up. We've decided on this one, and so we might as well go ahead and get started installing it. Now the first thing we need to do is to remove this old stuff, and really it's pretty easy. We're going to just have to take out these long screws in here. You want to be sure you hold on to this because once the second screw is done, the whole thing will just fall off into your hand. I don't know why, but we'll save them these parts. Maybe somebody else can use this. Next, we're going to see if we can get this one out. may have to use a hand screwdriver in some cases. All right, we got that baby out of the way. Now we only have one more screw to remove. That's the one over here on the handle on the front side. Now we can take all of this hardware off. And you can see that we've got holes here. And it's going to be great because any of the standard fixtures that you get that are going to go in here are going to work. Even if you had a knob down here instead of the fixture that we had, uh, it would work. So now our next bet is to get these things out of the way and we can get started with the new stuff. Now we're just reversing our process putting in the new materials here. Incidentally, they have good instructions and you ought to read those. And if you've got a brand new door, They've also got a template in there so that you can put it in place on the door and drill exactly where the holes ought to go. As soon as we get this done, we'll be ready to go and take care of putting our uh, knocker in place. Well, there we go. We got all of that done. Took about a half hour. It's a beautiful job, though, and as you can see, it works. Now it's time to put a coat of paint on that board so I can put the house numbers on and then we'll install our knocker. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint this now so it can be drying while we're putting some of this hardware in place on the door. Then we'll be able to mount our numbers on there. Now we got our template up here for our door knocker. We have to make sure that it's level and plumb, which it is. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a nail and we're going to put a little indentation right here and here so it'll tell us exactly where we need to drill. That way we got it centered and everything is going to be great. All right, now let's go for the drilling. Okay, we got our holes drilled. Next thing I need to do is to tape this up on the outside so we can insert our screws from this side. All right, I believe that's got it. I'll just tape it in place up here. Now I can go inside and install my screws without it falling off. All right, we got that tight. Now what I need to do is to get this level here, which I think it is, and we'll press down this tape 
and now it's going to stay in place so I can go around and drill my pilot holes. Well, we've got all of our screws in and our kick plate looks pretty doggone good. I'm going to peel off this protective coating here. And now we're ready to kick it. I guess we're really ready to go over and check the paint and be sure it's dry before we install our numbers. Now what I'm doing is drilling holes in this board here so we can attach it to the wall. I even countersunk them so that these big headed screws will go in there. And uh, then the nice thing about it is that the numbers are going to be placed up here and they're going to cover up the uh, holes that I've drilled here. All right, that ought to hold it. We put the number one, which is a center screw. It wasn't going to cover any of the holes and it was a lot easier to put on down on the ground there. We need to put the other numbers on and we're just about through. All right, this is the last screw for the house numbers. And I think you got to admit that this has really improved the looks of the front of this house. I love the numbers. I love this new hardware down here, and I even like the knocker, and you can't beat a good kick plate.